My name is Mike Perna and I'm a historic shipwreck salvager specializing in magnetometer surveys. I was first introduced into magnetometry about 10 years ago and began surveying one of the most famous shipwrecks in the world, the Santa Margarita, which is the sister ship to the famous Nuestra Senora de Atocha. Since that time, I've had a great deal of success in salvaging and surveying shipwreck sites all over the world, but I primarily focus on sunken vessels off the coast of Florida. So a magnetometer uh, is a piece of survey equipment that we use and basically what that does is it defines the signature, the magnetic signature of the earth and because there's ferrous metal in a lot of the shipwrecks in the way of iron rigging and straps and spikes and stuff like that, iron cannons, uh, iron anchors, we're able to sense that discrepancy in the magnetic field of the earth and that's giving us a signature. We've been commissioned by Bronze Cannon Corporation to come out here and look for a vessel that they believe went down in the 1500s. There's been some material found out here in the past. So we're out here doing a magnetometer survey with a Geometrics 882 and we're on site now and we're underway and basically what we've done is we have our target area where we think there's material on the ocean floor and we've set up a grid. And that's what we're doing now is we're following our lanes. We set up a 30-foot lane spacing, and basically we're just mowing along. We go down about a mile, turn around, come back a mile, move over 30 feet, and just mow the grass. Uh, the magnetometer is about three foot off the surface of the ocean floor, and that's going to give us uh, our best sensitivity as far as looking for targets. It's a really nice day out here. I really hope we get some nice targets. Technology today has come a long way in magnetometry due to uh, the advancements in GPS and global positioning system. Um, also, there's a new technology in the magnetometers uh, in the way of uh, cesium, which is getting away from the proton magnetometers. And this makes magnetometry a lot more sensitive. So we really have a cutting edge equipment that we're using out here. And it's really going to give us our best opportunity to hopefully find this thing.